All right, guys. So in this probably what will be multi-part series, I mean the series in multiple parts, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make your own reanimate, uh, R6 support, R15 support, permadeath, uh, fling. So like humanoid root part fling, maybe velocity fling, and how to convert scripts. So the first thing we wanna do is define our variables. So we're gonna go ahead and start by doing that. So yeah, so we're gonna start off by finding the play variables. So define the service players. Then we're gonna grab the local player. I just call it player equals plays the local player. Then we're gonna define the character. So character equals play the character. I may as well define the humanoid as well. Uh, there you go. It's already done it for me. And then. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if the humanoid uh, rig type is R6, and if it is, we're gonna destroy um, some joints. So if humanoid rig type is equal to anim dot humanoid rig type dot R6, we're gonna do the funny code. So um, basically, we need to destroy the joints which are located. Sep differently in R15, that's why we're doing an R60, R6 only section. So we're gonna go ahead and destroy the joints there in the portal. So right shoulder, left shoulder, right hip, left hip. So, um, fine first child, right shoulder, yep, alright, it already knows. Oh, left shoulder, yep, right hip, left hip. And then, no, we're not going to destroy the neck, because if we did that, then the character would just die. And now, what we're going to do is... Oh yeah, we're going to destroy the uh, root drone as well, which is in the humanoid root part. So this is this is essential. So this should be in the first part of your reanimate. Uh, character, humanoid root part, find first child root joint. It's called root joint. Root joint. Destroy. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead. Alright, I forgot to fi define uh, run service. I'm just gonna do that quickly. Uh, we're gonna use this for loops, so like heartbeat and step loops. So there you go, we're gonna be destroying those, and then. Alright, we're gonna define the rig as well, so we may as well do that. So the rig. So you, you could clone the character. But I'm gonna use like a, I'm gonna use get objects to get a pre-made rig I made. Uh, you can use it too. So the example code will be in the GitHub. But you don't wanna just copy and paste from there. Uh, RBX, so ID. All right, let me just find the, oh. No, I don't think that's it. Let me just find it. Let me find the dummy ID. Uh, Ah, uh, here it is. Um, one. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna parent the rig to the character. So my rig is called Dummy, you can rename it however you want, but the rig's name is Dummy. Oh, I'll just clarify that here. Rig name is Dummy. Alright. And we're gonna unanchor the humanoid root part, because I made that anchored for some reason. Anchored equal false change what the camera subject to the rig dot current camera the camera subject is equal to the rig we're gonna set the primary C uh, we can just do this but but what that does is that teleports the rig to the character now we're going to make a function for setting the C-Fame, which is, uh, it, it, it's unnecessary, but I'm going to just do it anyway, because then I can also put the velocity stuff in there. And when we do R6, R15, we can add offset, uh, and then just uh, add velocity, so part.velocity equals vector3. I'll just do like 30. It, it may look jittery on other people's screens, but we can improve that. That's just velocity stuff and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop 
um, let's just call it collision equals um, run service dot step connect function uh, and then just whoa mm, just do collision so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if it's a base part and then make the can collide false character get your loop v is a base part and then v dot can collide equals false and now we're just gonna make another loop and we're gonna do that for the setting of the C frame. So C frame loop is equal to run service dot heartbeat connect function um, you know what, firstly we're gonna make it so if the rig doesn't exist, then it's gonna disconnect the other loop. So if not, we're gonna disconnect the loop. Um, same with the other one. Yeah, collision disconnect. And and then yeah, this is actually what I want to do. So what we're doing here is we're setting the C frame to the rigs like body part C frame. So we're gonna do this for literally all the limbs. So we're gonna do left arm first, and then right arm, then left leg, and so on. Uh, right arm, yep. Left leg, right leg. And we don't need to do the head right now. I mean, when you're using permadeath, you can destroy the neck since the character won't die, since it's already dead. So we'll just, we'll just leave it, the head out for now. And, alright, yeah, we also gotta just set the, because what we're doing is, when you go into a converted script, you're gonna have to change character to character dummy, because that's just how it works. I mean, you can, you can set the rig as the character if you want, but I'm just gonna do this. This is basically just gonna, like, move the rig to our character. So... No, move direction. Uh, what do we have left? I think that should work. Let me just try real quick. Let me just launch a game. So, alright, let's just try this. Yep, it works. But, as you can see, the animations aren't there the default animation so we're just going to fix that so we're going to disable the characters animate when you execute the script uh, then later on we're going to clone the animate and put it in the rig so that way the rig can also have the default animations just had to do something and back now so what we're going to do is we're going to basically just yeah make the rig have default animation so we disabled the animate earlier I'm gonna clone that animate and then put it in the rig. So C animate equals what uh, character the animate clone. So we're gonna parent that into the rig. So C animate the parent because cat uh, no rig. And then we're gonna enable it. So C animate dot disable equals false. And now we're gonna try this. So there we go. And yep, yeah, it seems to be working. So yeah, it seems to be working. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run an example script. So this is Crystal Dance. So basically what you need to do is you need to control F and basically search for any reference to character. So like player the character, player the character. And we're going to replace character with dummy. So character dot dummy. And that will basically just like use the rig instead of your actual character. So if I run this, as you can see, it's working. And this is what other people will see. Obviously, apart from the <laughs> other fedora. But yeah, this is what other people will see. The animations and everything are all BFE. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's basically it for part one, guys. 
um, in the next part I'll be adding R15 support and probably some other stuff like humanoid root fling.